Hi, my name is Steve, and I am as Iowa as any person from Iowa could be. Growing up in rural Iowa, the reason your children are safe is that if someone does something bad to your children, it will be remembered not only about the family, the person who did it, but then the family who allowed that person to do it. So the shame that it brings to every other person in the family, you don't want to do anything that's going to bring shame to the family. When I was six years old, mom and dad wanted to go to Teresa's, a bar that was the popular bar in New Hall at the time. And Marty and I then walked up to the park. And so he and I go to the park while mom and dad spend time at Teresa's. I loved the Trinito site. I went down that thing several thousand times. I just could not get enough of it. On this particular day, there were some older brothers. I'm not going to say the family name because it's not worth even saying their name. Some older people, 13, 14 year olds, who happened to be there. But to be clear, these were not good boys. I didn't have a chance to go down the tornado slide before one of them decided he wanted to go to the top and take a piss down the tornado slide. So no going down the tornado slide for Steve today because these older boys are just not good people. Oscar Wilde wrote almost 200 years ago that everything is about sex except sex. Sex is about power. These older boys then basically tried to molest Marty and me. I don't think they were gay. I don't think, I don't think this has anything to do with them being gay. Actually, I actually think it was about power. This is where I think Oscar Wilde gets it right. They wanted to express their dominance over us. Marty and I escaped. We got back to the bar where mom and dad were. Marty didn't want to tell them what had happened, but six-year-old Steve couldn't not tell them. So I did. And mom and dad definitely left the bar before they, before they planned to. And the rage that my father had is something I will never forget. Dad, we, we reached the house and he ordered Marty to get out and to knock on the door and to get the early teenagers to come out. Mom, knowing dad as well as she did, told him, you cannot get out of this car. So these 13 and 14 year old boys came to the car and dad yelled in a rage I've never heard, I never heard before or ever heard after. He yelled at them, if you ever touch either of my sons again, I will rip your balls off. Do you understand? To which they replied sheepishly, yes, sir. I am not a parent. And outside of my adopted sons, I will never be a parent. But for the record, my adopted sons don't need me. They, they, they have great fathers, they have great families, and they don't need me, but, but they're my adopted sons. But I totally understand the need to teach your children stranger danger. That I totally understand. Dad was lucky he had mom in his life. If a six-year-old Steve comes to me and tells me 
what those older boys had done to me, I probably would have ended up in the county jail that night. So, uh, yeah. Although we were not close, my father was a good man. Actually, he was a great man and a good dad. You can see the eulogy if you go back and see it. Yeah. As a good dad, it was like, yeah, no way am I going to allow anybody to mess with my boys. Period. Dad was also lucky because he had mom in his world and mom kept him from doing something that would have landed him in jail. <laughs> I'm producing this video during Pride Month and so I want to make it very clear as a conclusion of this video that there is no connection whatsoever between horrific, hateful things that people do to children that is from men versus women. It is, for the record, more often, statistically, I'm not gonna do the stats on this, I'm not gonna do a link, just it is true, it is more often men who do it than, than women, that's a fact. Um, but it has nothing to do with whether or not someone's gay or not. So if anybody sees the video that I just produced and they take it as being somehow homophobic or whatever, get over yourself. This has nothing to do with homophobia. Oscar Wilde was right. It's about power. I have no idea if the boys who molested Marty and me are gay or straight, and I don't care. They weren't doing it because they were gay. They were doing it because they were older and bigger than us and they had power. I really wanted to end this on something positive. So not sure where to go from this from here. So here's how I'll end this. We Kranz kids were lucky because Merlin George Kranz was a great man and a good father. And he very smartly married Joyce Anna Ford. And to whatever degree they had their ups and downs in life and marriage and whatever, blah, blah, blah. They raised good kids. Parenting win. <laughs>